Let's get this video started and let's start the day right. Peanut butter and apple is one of my favorite snacks. Not really ACB related, but it is summer now. And um, if you're like me, you want to watch your, what you're eating because you're trying to keep the waistline small, you know? So um, one thing lately, I've been eating really bad. I've been eating a lot of sweets and like just really bad altogether. And the thing about bad habits, you can never really quit a bad habit. You can only replace it. So I'm trying to eat healthier. This is my new favorite snack, peanut butter and apples. Peanut butter isn't the greatest for you because there is a lot of sugar in it, but um, nonetheless, it's a better alternative than cookies, right? All right, let's get this video started. Also, I want to dedicate this stash bin update to uh, Slings of Web. Um, he just finished, I guess you can say, ended his uh, little YouTube vlogs uh, just recently. So I just want to dedicate this to you, man. I learned a lot from your tips. Um, you're a great guy. And this um, tw next 20 minutes, it was in pretty much, uh, I dedicate my time to you, man. Good show. Shout out to Ian Christie. Shout out to David Liu. Shout out to Boog. Shout out to Jerry Nightmare. Shout out to Nick. David. Uh, I, I just said David. No, actually, there's two Davids I want to shout out, shout out to. Shout out to Nathan Johnson, Tyler, uh, Jamal, Farrell Black, everybody on the Facebook community. Um, Poopyhead Allen, Witch Wands, and my boy Charles Dukes. Congratulations for winning the tournament. Marvel Walkies, Chino Marino, all those people. You know there who you guys are. Okay, now let's get this video started. So here is the Crime Syndicate pack of America. All together, I'm really happy with this. I didn't really get to really talk about it when I got this. I like the pack. I'm pretty happy with the purchase. Um, overall, I'm just really happy with it. But I do have some gripes about these figures. And the fact that three of the five are in the, wearing their modern costumes. And these two, Johnny Quick, are here. And then Power Ring, they're wearing their old school costumes. I didn't realize this until actually, I guess the whole fanboy kind of absorbed out of me. So you got Ultraman wearing his updated costume. Power Woman, uh, Super Woman's wearing her updated costume because her hair's not, her hair's down. And she's wearing gloves. And I think her cape's different, I think, I believe. And then obviously the most um, obvious change uh, is Alt uh, Owl Man because his costume is completely different from when he first started out. Which is interesting because of all of them, his costume is the most... I guess changed the most and if you think of it Batman's also kind of his costume has changed the most in Earth 1 and I guess it only makes sense that his evil counterpart would update his costume as well but anyways um but Johnny Quick's costume it's the old school version and the old school version pretty much is just the head um he should be wearing like a biker looking helmet with a pair of like a visor or a pair of goggles and then Power Ring should be wearing goggles and the entire costume should be black pretty much with green trim on the shoulders and then the symbol on the chest should be just kind of like a smaller should be smaller and just centered right on top of his chest his pec um overall i'm happy with it i'm content so this is my desk right here and my detolf is right there so how it works with me is because glass is kind of hard to pose with sometimes because it's slippery and the detolf is fairly narrow and if you're a wider guy um, like broad shoulders or if you're just a bit bigger you know it's kind of hard to really pose your figures in there so what I'll usually do is I'll just pose my figures set it up on my desk and then I'll put it I'll transfer it over you know um, I've done this a couple of times and I've shown myself doing this with like my other videos regarding like uh, the times I did it the most was like uh, uh, for JD Meg's contest, if you look for the behind the scenes for that contest, um, you'll see that I did that a lot with the um, Iron Fist figure. And I play with the desk, the, the formations on my desk before putting in my detolf. And right here, um, just play with my crime syndicate because I love these guys. Um, oh, I also want to give it to uh, the Ninth Wonder, uh, Ian. Um, he was the one that actually noticed my spacing, and it's because I do this, I put on my desk before I, I put in everything my into the detolf. Here's everything. Owl man with the force beam. Backhand right there on Super Superwoman giving the backhand to Supergirl. Kara. This one is my favorite. The breaking of the arm of Green Arrow. Snap. And if you look here, so, using the facial expression, she's got that angry face. And just flexing like lifting him up. And the idea was that uh, Green Arrow was trying to aim it up. Uh, Ultraman over there, and then gets interrupted. Snap, crack right there. This hole there. 
just gonna snap her on her neck. Get the marble game swung over. Bam. I like this one a lot actually, just breaking his arm. Just because he's got that angry face, that growled face. He's snapping it. Looks like right here. Snap. See? Because it's like close here, the conjunction is that um, Green Owl trying to save Black Canary, but Power Ring interrupts. And this one's pretty cool. Soccer kick to the face. Plastic Man ran right to um, Arthur, oh sorry, Aquaman's head. Soccer kick, bam, he's too quick. So right now I'm just playing around with my lighting. It looks like a super moon is just smacking a super girl up. And if I zoom out, see, just playing around with some lighting, see? So the light source. And try to take some pictures, but I'm not getting the right look. And you know, you'll take like 50 photos just to get one result. And that's why I don't really like taking photos. And I don't have that much patience. But I'm trying to get this one. See how it turns out. Here's another one. I'm just taking some footage of uh, Power Ring and versus uh, Green Arrow. He's breaking his arm. Zoom out. Just taking some photos. These are going to look really good. I'm trying to uh, build my portfolio of ACBA, you know? Put it down dope. And then, see the angle. He's breaking his arm, snapping it. Crack. See if I can get one here. Maybe I'll take a photo from this shot. Snap. Looks very painful. He's lifting him up as he flies. So right now we got Johnny Quick kicking uh, Aquaman and Plastic Man. I'm going to be doing a contest for Ian the Ninth Wonder. Um, this is the layout so far. And I'm going to get started soon. And right now, as you can see, I'm wearing my director's hat because I'm in director's mode producing some stuff because you know directors always wear hats so okay forget the hat oh and shout out to Nicholas Halcom I have a, his Facebook open right now because he always likes my videos and always likes my links and stuff so shout out to you and also uh, shout out to uh, Nicholas, Nicholas um, Petrosian so shout out to you man right there shout out to you right, man just like that it's been like two minutes on it. We have hardwood flooring. And what I did, I just put photo paper right here and just put like a little bit of wax on it and stuck it on this. So there I have my general floor. So here is go. the set. Um, it's just pretty much zoom out. See what I mean? It's just a giant set. And let's finish this up. It's already 12 o'clock, so I should go to sleep soon. But uh, I want to get this it's done finished. finished. First. It's finally finished. It took so long to do this, actually. Um, it, I'm actually filming the next day because I actually went to sleep. And then um, it actually stuck through the night, so which I'm glad because nothing's worse than a display falling when you're sleeping. And then you're like, oh, I got to fix it. But, anyways, it's finally done. And pretty much the layout is Owlman's taking over Gotham City. I'm a, I don't know, it's this thing about me and Batman or whatever, but I don't know. And like I said, the reason why I use Batman villains a lot for my contest is pretty much the fact that it's um, my most complete rogues gallery setup. So pretty much Owlman just has a force beam, uh, Superwoman just kicking ass, just like hitting Solomon Grundy, Copperhead, and Killer Moth. Clayface is just there. Riddler's down. Scar, um... Scarecrow's down, Killer Croc's down, Two Face is running away, alongside with Black Mask and Joker and the Penguin. Deathstroke is down and uh, Deadshot is aiming towards Owlman. So, um, and the Harley Quinn's down too, he got a broken leg. Um, shout out to Ian, Ian the Ninth Wonder. Hope you enjoy this. Um, not much to it. I'm probably gonna take this down, or maybe transfer this. Set the Power Woman, uh, Superwoman. I keep saying Power Woman. I don't know why. And put that on the top shelf of the D12. Uh, and yeah. So Behind by now, scenes. if you watch my videos, Book Nice Tens videos, JR Nightmares, um, on the Facebook community, you should know about the homemade flight stands. The DIY flight stands to do it yourself and what I usually do on the first attempt I use a coat hanger Metal coat hanger and then the second attempt 
I uh, know, yeah, and then I also make small ones. But recently I went to the dollar store and then I bought like for like just like a buck uh, barbecue skewers which is the same idea but they're long and same idea but they're more sturdy and they're more harder like with this one um, in some ways if I force it I could bend this with my hand it's gonna be a little bit harder it's easier to bend it with tools but I can bend this with my hand if I want to and same with the smaller ones right However, these ones I cannot well, I could but it won't make a bunch of a difference they're more they're more sturdy and just to show you here's an example here's the flight hat stand with uh, the one that I usually make see how it wobbles a bit kind of shaky now if I use this one the barbecue skewer did, did you see the difference I don't know if you saw let me try it again uh, coat hanger okay I don't know if you won't be able to see it this time and then here's the barbecue skewer it's not really the best example but it's more sturdy and um, um they were just a buck so and I got about eight in a pack and I made last night I made about five here's another one um, here's the size that you can get with it um, the coat hanger is a bit taller because you know you get more metal to work with for one coat hanger but these are just as good and um, I like the fact that it's just plain silver and it's sturdier so this is a haul from the 80s toy expo I've been meaning to show this so um, I haven't gotten anything open so um, from start, I got everything at that expo, um, everything on my list. I only bought everything on the list, everything specific to the list, except for this one, but I'll get into details with that in a second. Um, Star Trek figure, the female figure. Um, the only reason why I wanted to have her, because I wanted to use her as an assistant, like kind of use that guy. And the red uniform looking thing kind of looks like a uniform as mentioned. So, I have an assistant, I'll probably use her for like Jigsaw or Two-Face, I haven't figured it out yet. Um... My first Star Wars figure, I just wanted this one. Um, I've seen like some photos on AC, like non ACBA related photos, or just people put these stormtroopers in weird, funny poses. I just wanted to have one. Um, got a good deal, and it's mint on card. You know, I don't know if I'll open this because this is my first Star Wars figure, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Thirty-five bucks for a wasp. Um, yeah, sadly, this is the only wasp that I saw. I don't have this version. This is the only one that I have. I uh, had to get it. I sunk in and just bought it. Um, Starman. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. Got this one for five bucks. I have the original one, the classic version as shown here. So this is the second uh, cheetah that I have. Um, yeah, uh, five bucks can't beat that. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, I got the uh, after watching um, Bug Nice and a couple of other people. Um, get this figure out to get it myself and it's actually pretty good kind of upset though because I paid 10 bucks for this and then right after I bought it I saw someone else selling it for 10 mint on card but this one's fine it works it's totally fine good condition doesn't really matter this is the steal of the day got this for five bucks and the reason why I said it was five bucks got it for five bucks because um, I already fixed it though but pretty much uh, the leg the peg fell out and the foot the foot peg fell out so I told him that I was broken and he's like okay I'll give you five because initially he was trying to sell it to me for ten but then I kind of asked for I guess he changed it because it was broken and it's funny because I know how to fix it right so I'll do a tutorial how to fix the how to fix your peg figures when they fall off the peg and this one Starman um a while back I showed a haul where I bought a cyborg Superman and I bought it for like 10 bucks or 15 bucks I, believe. I think it was 10 um, I bought it from a toy vendor at a, a toy expo and then what happened was I recently found out that that cyborg Superman had um, two left feet had two left feet so today I bought that cyborg Superman to the con and I told him that you know I bought this from last time like a month ago or two months ago last con and he said that okay no biggie just pick whatever you know that's worth the same value and I picked this one and he said yeah fine if that's what you want and then uh, I got a Starman I don't really didn't really want this but I might I might build my Justice Society which is kind of like the B-listers, well not really B-listers, it's like the second version of the Justice League on a different end of the world, if you will. So I might build that with all these guys. Um, yeah, it's a different team, so, and I, from what I recall, I got already, I got like half the team already, so. Uh, I, I'm like two members away from completing the team. Anyways, and that's the whole. There Pretty we good. go. The Wasp in our classic colors, along with my Avengers setup. This is based off the cartoon series. I've seen this display many Ultraman. times. Ultraman.
and just plenty of pounding. This is another version of the Justice League, as you can see. Um, it's missing Vixen though, uh, but there is no Vixen figure. Um, there isn't like the DC Direct line, but I only want to collect uh, um, Mattel's version of the DC figures, the DC UCs, just because they're in better scale, um, the articulation is a little bit better, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I guess I could get this a more modern version. This could be a more modern version like the Red Tornado with the red boots and red gloves. And then this could be a different version of the Hawk Girl. But overall, I'm content with this. Mm -hmm. Just League of America. And over here, just some posing with some dynamic posing. Mm. Only the Marvel Legends kind of could have this kind of articulation. With DCUs, they don't have the articulation, but they stand really well. They do vanilla posing really well with these figures. You know, you can do really good poses, like just team displays portraits. This one's alright. This is just fairly basic. There's nothing dynamic about it, but, you know, Marvel Legends, you can get all that articulation. It just... And mainly just because of these ball joints on the hips, that's an indicator. And, yeah. Ryu Hayabusa is a dope figure. Uh, it's from NECA. It's the Ninja Gaiden figure. Highly recommend this figure if you can get it. Um, it shouldn't be too expensive nor too hard to find. I know you can find it on eBay for probably like 20 to 15 with shipping free. Um, definitely recommend this figure. Great articulation. It's a bit like in the high end, uh, taller size, like about like mm, maybe 7 inches. Like a NECA figure. But awesome figure and um, great posability. Great posability. I've been one of the one of the reasons why I made these flight stands is to get this figure in these dynamic poses. You know, look at that, it's sick. Yeah, it's dope. See, this figure is so sick. It just looks so dope with all the ninjas fighting against it. Bam. Ten ninjas. Ten white hand ninjas. With my flight stands. There you go. Hey everyone. I don't usually film in here, but there's really good lighting, so I want to take advantage of that. Um, anyways, this is the uh, Hasbro Marvel Legends Iron Man. And I just want to give you guys a tip. Pretty much, if it comes down to you collecting or having a choice between the Hasbro version of a character versus the Toy Biz, a good portion of the time, I would highly suggest, um, if you're going to collect ultimately every version of every character, get the Hasbro version first. Just mainly because um, not only are these um, really expensive for scalpers, like they'll overprice them, is that um, they're really hard to find. Right, And a good portion of the time, depending on where you're from, I can't speak for everybody, but a good portion of the time, based on my experience, is that Toy Biz figures are still warming up pegs in comic book shops. They'll sell them loose in conventions because they're older, right? They've been around longer. And the distribution for the Toy Biz figures is fairly good. I mean, for the fact that they've been, it was like, how many years ago when they went out of business, I guess you can say, their figures are still mint on card and still can be found, just depending on where you go. But the Hasbro figures are a little bit more harder to find. Your best bet is eBay, and Toy Biz figures are also on eBay and in conventions and comic book shops. So if you're really going to collect ultimately every character, every version, if you really want a bigger collection, I would suggest getting the Hasbro version first. If you're just ultimately going for a one ultimate version, like the one version of that character, I guess stick with the Toy Biz line. But uh, when it comes down to it, it's up to you, but just a, just a little tip I just want to give. And this is one of my favorite Iron Man. A lot of people don't like it because they think that he's too skinny. But I think it actually works, you know. The other version of the costume is like the series one, and I think that's actually way too big. And um, I think this one is uh, proportioned a lot better, you know. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I got really nothing else to say other than thanks for watching the video. I try to post something else. I might post something else after I post this video shortly after this week, like a small update. But other than that, um, Sean Lee from the Stashman. Peace.
<laughs> Heaps her first step. 